Have you spoken to Tans yet? What about Maya? Don't tell me she's run off too. She might as well have. Oh, I was um, hoping that you might have some idea on what's going on inside her head, because she sure as hell ain't telling me. Well, I kind of backed off a bit since you know you told me to. Right. You should have said no. Hey. When I said yes to being the donor, I knew you didn't want it. You should have put your foot down because you could see this was going to get messy and it has. Nothing beats holding a sleeping baby, waiting for it to wake up and smile at me, know who I am. And what about when she's five years old, a teenager? Do you think about those years? I've been right through to her wedding day, crying at the airport when she goes away on her OE, all of that. And Jay, where does she fit into this futuristic picture? She's there. Somewhere. Oh, she'll make a great mum. It's just that you haven't mentioned her much. This is all confidential, Maya. I guess that I'm not uh, really sure that Jay will always be around. She had an affair, and I've totally forgiven her and everything. It just made me realise that no matter how much a couple love each other, not all marriages survive. You think that's the best starting point for creating a family? We're not starting from there. We've moved on. Having a baby will give us something to focus on and stop us from being so selfish. That's asking a lot from a little baby. We grieve for many things, Maya. I'm not grieving for my marriage. If that's what you're saying, I cried all those tears a long time ago. You don't agree? I'm here to help you come to conclusions, not make them for you. I know these reviews have created extra work for everyone. And you're sorry about this? Not really. <laughs> Seriously, uh, I'm grateful for your cooperation. If you could focus on your financial reports first, that would be a great help. Consider it done. Same. Justine, I was hoping you could do the financial report for the surgical department. I thought that was the HOD's responsibility. It is. It's also a valuable opportunity for those aspiring to be HOD to gain more managerial experience. I don't think so. Justine? I've had to pick up a lot of the burden in theatre. I don't have time to do your managerial work as well. You're not the only one in this room who's taking on more work. I'm the only one in this room who isn't an HOD. And considering the things you've been spending your focus on lately, I'm sure you'll have time to write the report yourself. OK, I think you've made your point. Let's move on, shall we? Fine by me. <clears throat> All set for tonight? <laughs> yeah, I spent some quality time on my couch and I'm ready to go. I oh, know, it was a bit of a compromise. Thanks for not moaning about it. Hey, no problems, only solutions, right? <laughs> Funny all my staff are like you. How do you feel about being cloned? <laughs> you know most of us are behind you, right? Most? Well, you know that Brenda. She's hard to please. Oh, that's all settled now. So you're good? Yeah. You sure? Say it. I overheard her talking to Justine, having a major whinge. About? Oh, I didn't hear the details, but I'd watch you back. I appreciate you looking out for me, Alice, but we've sorted our differences. OK, it's official. I'm a telltale and a nosy pucker. Oh, it's fine, Alice. <laughs> Stomach's still bothering you. Mm. We'll go sort something out for that now. Oh, thank you. Hey, what's wrong with your stomach? Empty and tired. Oh, I'm going to get you some food if you like. You're not my slave, Baxter. <laughs> hey, so what's the goss on Tony? Yeah, well, the whole nursing shortage thing hasn't made her any friends, but I don't care. I'll work any shift that she gives me. Tommy, I'm looking for the sluice room. You just walk past it, mate. First on the right, down the corridor. Sign on the door says sluice room. Bit of a slow starter, that one. Yeah, I guess we should go easy on him being his first day and all. Yeah. Now it's grumbling. How about you and Tommy hold the fort? Well, I've never been in charge before. Oh, no time like the present. Uh. You're the man, Bax. Feel the power. In charge of the ward. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Ah. There it is. <laughs> I'm not changing my mind about the report, if that's what you're after. 
Forget about the report. What will it take for us to resume a functional working relationship? Give me the HOD job and I'll be on my best behaviour. Scout's honour. You're not ready. You're not ready to give it up. Why don't you take some time out and cool down a bit? When you get back, we can buff up your managerial experience. Take it from there. I can already do your job. Yes, you're competent. Yes, you're good. Who do you think ran the department when you were hiding up in your office playing with paper clips? I'm grateful for your support. You I'll... broke into a sweat every time you saw a scalpel. Who held your hand then? I have thanked you many times. With a couple of bonks and a seedy trip to Christchurch. Gee, thanks. What did you expect? I told you, head of department. Oh, you are being unreasonable, not to mention immature. That stunt you pulled in the meeting today was nothing short of... Sorry. I'll expect an answer soon. She's still giving you grief. How about gourmet pizza and a DVD? Take your mind off things. Oh, there's nothing I would like more, but uh, Justine might do the report, so I'm in for the long haul. Try not to stay too late, okay? Mm. Yeah! I can't believe I'm getting paid to be bored. Well, it's all part of the job, mate. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> What's that mean? Get in here, Tommy! Get the emergency trolley in here. Where is it? Go back to the nurse's station, turn left. Okay, scratch that, just call the blue 100. But I can get the trolley. Just make the call, Tommy. 